Minton Farm Rescue is a volunteer organisation that rescues, rehabilitates and releases animals back into their natural habitat. On any one day, there could be any number of animals being cared for. I reckon that's a big job for even the most committed volunteer. We're here to find out more about the great work they do. So how many animals do you rescue each year? Oh, we can rescue between 600 and 1,000 in one year. It just depends on the weather, how many um, little orphan animals come in. So where did this little guy come from? This little fella came from um, Globe Derby, standing on the white line on, in the middle of the freeway, <laughs> just born. So his mother had given birth on the truck and he shot out the rails. And somebody stopped and picked him up and saved his life. So he's a lucky little lamb. Yeah. What type of animals do you rescue? We are a native animal rescue centre, so we do kangaroos and possums and eagles and kookaburras and tawny frogmouths, mostly. Um, but if an animal is in need of help, then we will help it and then try and find a new home for him. <laughs> He's polishing that off, isn't he? <laughs> tip it right up. That's right, you won't get the air. <laughs> He's about a week old now, so he gets stronger every day, this one. And the little girl that rescued him put that on him. <laughs> yes. So what happens to the animals once they've been rescued? Well, we first of all, we put them in our hospital and stabilise them, and then we try and get them strong. So we put the birds in big flight cages so they learn to fly again, and we try and get them back home where they came from. But if they are not fit enough to go home, then we'll try and find a new home for them that's suitable for them or we'll, we ha we'll house them here if they're happy in captivity. So what type of bird is this one? This is a tawny frogmouth and we get a lot of tawny frogmouths in because they try and catch insects in the car headlights when they're driving in the night so they get hit by the cars and um, quite often we'll get the little young ones when they're just out the nest because they can't fly properly and it's really hard to get them back into the wild if you can't... Oh, I can't <laughs> yeah, too that. early. Can't guarantee that their mum's there to look after them if the mums get killed. Well done. Now, Olivia, we should be able to put some meat on the table here and they probably eat out your hand as well, if we're lucky. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Hello, darling girl. Hello, darling girl. Here's a girl. <laughs> These guys have all been hand raised from tiny little things or they've had injured wings or injured eyes and that's why they haven't been able to go back into the wild. Oh, you could hand feed the one on the foot. If you'd like to help Minton Farm, check out their website at mintonfarm.com.au to find out how.